In the United States back in 1908, a loaf of bread could be had for just five cents. The average worker made about 22 cents an hour. The average home price was about $725. And this athletic specimen was entering his third year in the big leagues. And the Chicago Cubs won the World Series. Can they do it again? <music> Greetings ladies and gents and welcome to another installment of the Suicide Squeeze Baseball Show. Now, as promised, I told you guys I was going to give you the rest of my picks uh, for the baseball playoffs. Uh, I was going to preview some of the games as well, uh, the Division Series, the LCS, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys my World Series pick. Um, this despite the fact that I made a complete buffoon of myself in the first two games of the playoffs, the wild card games. Uh, I had the Orioles over the Blue Jays. Uh, <laughs> Orioles lost, of course. And I had the Mets over the Giants. So, um, Giant fans, Blue Jay fans, you should be very, very happy with me that I picked against your teams because I told you on that first video that whoever I pick will probably lose. In the spirit of Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier, Rocky Balboa and Apollo Creed, um, Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, we have the Texas Rangers, we have the Toronto Blue Jays, battling out in the first ALDS series. And I gotta be honest with you guys, these are two teams that absolutely hate each other, and I love it. I think it's fantastic. You know, it kind of annoys me when I go to a game and I see opposing uh, players, you know, giving each other hugs and whatnot. I I'm fine if they want to do that stuff away from the field, but you know, when they're on the field, I, I just wish they would take it a little bit more seriously. And uh, I'm not advocating necessarily going out and, you know, fighting with your opponents, but uh, and the bad blood between these two teams goes back to the ALDS last year uh, when uh, the Blue Jays eliminated the Rangers. Jose Batista did a bat flip. Uh, a lot of the Rangers players took a exception to that. Uh, and it carried over to this year. Uh, Batista was, was beamed uh, when they went back to Texas for a series earlier in the season. Uh, and then slid hard into uh, Rugden Odor, I think his name is, uh, into second base. And... Uh, just a melee ensued. I mean, uh, Odor, you know, hit Batista right in the face and, and teeth were flying all over the place. Blood was all over Arlington. It was a chaotic scene. Okay, maybe I embellished the melee a little bit too much, but we have an awesome series here, guys. The starting pitching of the Rangers, the bullpen the Rangers have against that awesome offense that the Blue Jays have. And uh, it's going to be a collision course, no question about it. At the end of the day, I just trust pitching over offense a little bit more. The Blue Jays bullpen has been suspect at times this year. Uh, I know they pitch very, very well in the wild card game. I think it's going to bite them over a five game series though. I think it's going to go the distance this series. Um, I think the Rangers edge them out in game five in Texas though. This is going to be the best series of, of the entire playoffs though uh, to me. And I have a little bit more to say about both these teams later on in the video. Now in what should be a much more calm, peaceful ALDS, we have the Boston Red Sox going up against the Cleveland Indians. And I gotta be honest with you guys, a month ago I thought the Cleveland Indians were gonna win the World Series. Now that would have been my pick a month ago. Then they lost Salazar, then they lost Carrasco. Uh, Corey Kluber, I believe a week or two ago, pulled his growing, which is uh, never a fun experience for us guys. Oh. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I'm not sure they're healthy enough to knock off the Red Sox. The Red Sox have a little bit better offense as well, I think. Um, Porcello should win a couple of games in this. He's going up against Bauer in the first game, and Bauer is just so erratic. I think he's a, he's a young, talented guy. I think he's going to be a good pitcher. He's just not quite there yet, and uh, I think Porcello should win a couple of games in this. Uh, I'm pulling for the Indians, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I make no bones about it. They haven't won since 1948. A lot of people, uh, they haven't won the World Series since 1948. A lot of people talk about the Cubs. The Indians have a pretty good uh, World Series uh, drought as well, though, as far as winning it. Um, I'm pulling for the Tribe. I don't think they're going to have uh, the guns, though, to do it. Um, it should be a good series. Picking the Red Sox in five. 
Now in the first NLDS matchup, we have the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Washington Nationals. And uh, I made a video about a month ago on Yasiel Puig after he'd been sent down to AAA saying he should be traded to the Brewers or to a smaller market team. It probably would do him a lot of good. Well now he's kind of uh, danced his way back into Dave Roberts' lineup. He's danced his way back into the hearts and minds of Dodger fans everywhere. And he's had a pretty good uh, last month, month and a half of the season. He's been contributing to the Dodgers a great deal. Now the Dodgers starting pitching staff is pretty solid with Kershaw and Maeda at the top. Uh, you know, to me, you know, Kershaw, a lot of people have given him a lot of crap saying, ah, this guy chokes in October. And there's no question that his ERA is much, much higher, but uh, he's had some pretty solid games in the playoffs. Um, you know, last year he shut down the Mets in Game 4 and extended that series to a fifth game. Um, even in the St. Louis series, uh, two years ago, I believe it was, in the NLCS, uh, when he gave, he gave up the big home run in the seventh inning, which ended up costing him the game, he was pitching pretty well in that game, and he just basically threw one bad pitch, and that was uh, that was kind of the end of it for the Dodgers. But... I wouldn't sleep on that guy. I think he's going to have a pretty good uh, playoffs in general. Now on the national side of things, uh, this team concerns me a little bit. They remind me a little bit of the Indians. A month and a half ago, you could have made a great case that this was a World Series team. They're just so banged up right now. You know, they lost their starting catcher, Ramos, uh, Wilson Ramos, to like a freak injury uh, about a week ago. Uh, Strasburg is out for the season. Um, you know, Daniel Murphy, you know, there was talk uh, a few, uh, a couple days ago that he wasn't even going to play in this series. A pinch, you know, apparently he's going to end up playing hurt. And, uh, you know, Harper and Worth are all nicked up. They're going to play injured. So uh, I just don't think the Nationals are he healthy enough to knock off the Dodgers. I'm going with the Dodgers in four in this one. In the fourth and final Division Series matchup, we have the San Francisco Giants in an even year, I might add. Going up against the Chicago Cubs, who have won 103 games this year. I was there on opening day. I saw them put a shellacking on my Angels. And uh, i got to be honest with you. You know, the Cubs are just stacked from top to bottom. Great rotation, great bullpen, great offense. Um, and they're going up against the Giants, who are only going to have Madison Bumgarner for, mo you know, probably one game in this series. Probably game three. Um, that's a little bit of a problem for the Giants, I think. Uh, and I said it before the wild card game. You know, the Giants' bullpen have, has really struggled this year a great deal. Uh, they didn't have to use their bullpen in the wild card game. You know, Bumgarner pitched the whole nine innings. And I even said before that game, even though I didn't pick the Giants, I said, you know, the, you better not ha have to go to that bullpen because if they do, they're going to lose. They're going to have to go to the bullpen in this series. And I think that's going to be their unraveling, uh, quite honestly. You know, the, the, the past even year giant teams you know they've had guys like Jeremy Affelt, Brian Wilson they still have uh, Sergio Romo but he struggled this year so I'm picking the Cubs in this series and I'm picking them in four games uh, I think they take down uh, the Giants in four games the even year magic ends this year but will the Billy Goat curse continue <laughs> that is the question so if my calculations are correct and they probably won't be um, we will have the Texas Rangers going up against the Boston Red Sox in the ALCS, and uh, this should be a great matchup. You know, Boston again with a great offense, Texas with the great pitching staff, starting staff, bullpen. Uh, you know, I, I didn't mention it uh, in my preview of the ALDS earlier, but uh, you know, the Red Sox have had some problems down the bullpen. You know, Kimbrel hasn't looked too good here down the stretch. That'll be their. Uh, that'll be Boston's unraveling, I think, uh, in the ALCS. I think Texas wins this series in six games. Should be a solid series. Uh, I think Ortiz's uh, career comes to an end in the ALCS. And I think the Rangers go on to the World Series. Now in the NLCS, we'll have the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Chicago Cubs, who will be trying to get to their first World Series since 1945. When the curse of the Billy Goat actually started, uh, not 1908. And uh, apparently the legend has it is that some bar owner in the area of Chicago uh, brought his goat to the game. Now, why he brought his goat to the game is, is a bit of a mystery to me. Uh, I stopped bringing my uh, pet peacocks to baseball games a long time ago. He evidently brought this goat to the game. Uh, the people in the crowd that were sitting around him didn't like the smell or something, so uh, an, an attendant came down, kicked him out, 
he evidently said the Cubs would never win again, and they've never been to the World Series again since then, and uh, obviously have never won. Now, full disclosure, guys, uh, I'm rooting for the Indians and the Cubs to make it to the World Series. Uh, just the, the fan in me, I, I'd like to see the drought of these two uh, teams and, and the misery of these two fan bases, at least for one of them, end finally. Um, but I, I don't think the Cubs are going to make it past the NLCS. I don't think they're going to make it past the Dodgers. Uh, I think they're going to kind of crumble under the pressure a little bit. You know, this people forget this is still a very, very young team. And, you know, some people will say, well, you know, last year they beat the Cardinals in a very, very tense, tight series. The problem with that, though, is nobody expected the Cubs to win last year. This year, the whole world is expecting these guys to win. And uh, even though I think they're going to get past the Giants, I think they're going to get past the Giants because they only have to face Madison Bumgarner one time. Uh, I think Kershaw is going to have a big series in the NLCS. He'll probably win MVP most likely. You know, the Dodgers have improved their bullpen immensely. Uh, you know, they've always had Jansen, but the middle relief is much better. I think the Dodgers win this series. Uh, you know, the, the Cubs are knocking on the door. I think, I think this group is going to win a World Series. I just don't think it's going to be this year. I think the Dodgers win this one in seven games, and uh, I think they're going to represent the National League. Well, it's a hellish scenario for Angel fans like me, but our biggest division rival, the Texas Rangers, will square off against our crosstown rival, the Los Angeles Dodgers, in the World Series. And uh, I got to admit, uh, you know, while I'm not, th I wouldn't be thrilled about this matchup happening. I mean, hopefully, you know, uh, an asteroid hits Earth and neither of these teams win the World Series. But uh, you got to give it to both these teams. You know, the, they've made some great moves. The Rangers made some awesome moves at the trade deadline to get to this point. Uh, you know, Dave Roberts, I think, should probably be manager of the year personally. I mean, you lose Kershaw for two months and you get stronger. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, you got to give it to both these teams. Uh, they've done a heck of a job. At the end of the day, you know, as, as great as the Dodgers have been this year, the Rangers have that great starting staff, a fantastic bullpen top to bottom. And I think their offense is just a little bit better than the Dodgers. Um, the voices in my head tell me to pick the Texas Rangers in this one. I think the Rangers win the World Series uh, in six games over the Dodgers. Um, it's a sad situation, guys. Okay, guys, you've heard me babble on long enough. Now I want to hear from you guys. Who do you think is going to win these series? And more specifically, who do you guys like in the World Series? Who's your World Series teams and, and ultimately winner? Uh, let me know down in the comments section. And as always, if you dislike this video, hit the dislike button. This is America. You guys are entitled to your opinion too. Otherwise, see you next time. Take care, guys.